Hey guys, it's Out and About with Lady J. It's Jamie Zuckler with Preferred Shore. And today I am here with two very, very good friends of mine that I've met out and about doing work, right? Absolutely. So this is Daria Fairchild. Hello. And this is Miss Shayla Twitt. I want you two to tell everybody where you guys are from. What brokers are you guys with? I'm with Coldwell Banker. Okay. Downtown. Ooh, so am I. Oh. Yes, long, bo long boat key, though. Isn't that, that's funny how that worked out. Yes. So, the purpose of our meeting today, it's gonna be very low key. That's why I'm sitting with my shoes off. Ooh, <laughs> jealous. <laughs> but I just, I really enjoy you two. I, I've really, we met doing some filmings. We did. And I think it's very important. One of you know the reasons I wanted to get you guys together, and I chose you, we chose somebody else, but she didn't get to make it today, and that's fine, things come up. But I think it's really important in our industry, as women especially, to be women leaders. Um, I know we're not always perfect, and sometimes things go awry, but, I've enjoyed meeting you guys. I really have. And truthfully, Same. outside, we're friends. Um, I just really, I respect you guys a lot. You guys have been in the industry a lot longer than I have. I haven't been doing this. Yeah, I've been selling real estate as long as you have. But I think it's important because a lot of times when we come into a real estate transaction, we meet people that are not always fantastic to work with. You so, don't say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. It's unfortunate. Right. It, it, it's hard. So a couple of things that I kind of want to go into is just about what your experience is. I, I, I'm curious as to, you know, we're three very strong willed and very strong <laughs> independent women. So some say. Yeah, so exactly. But I think it's nice that we really hit it off well. We didn't clash, we didn't hit heads. Um, you know, I've known Shayla a little bit longer than I've known you and we become very good buddies. By a smidge. By mm -hmm. a smidge. <laughs> By a smidge. By and filming. I, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I think one of the things I always say to you is, is that you're always uplifting. You support me. She sends me things to my Instagram saying, hey, this is my girl, Jamie. This is her builds. This is what she does. You know, mm -hmm. let me shine. And I think that's neat because a lot of people in this industry, they want to see you fall and they secretly try to get, you know, how's it going out there? How's it going? Are you doing good? You know, you're, you're kicking, you're kicking butt. Good job. And really secretly not it's just really. checking up on you yeah. to hope that you fall on your face. Yes, or they're telling you they're doing fantastic, and 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 they're not, and yeah. that's okay. And we all struggle, and we all yes, we're always 100%. not always doing so great. Like we all struggle, and we go through ups and downs. I mean, this business is daily a roller coaster. It is. Right. So it's nice to find women that are not competitive against each other. The business is naturally competitive, right. mm -hmm. and not fighting, not fighting, but just getting along and making right. it smooth. Well, so and you know, there is nice. plenty to go around. And, I've always um, said the same. When we support it's each other and we get to know each other, plenty. we work better together. Right. We do. We have things to teach each other. Always. And when we have um, uh, buyers or clients on the opposite side, isn't it nice to work together? Oh, right. When I know the other agent, it's like, oh, I know this person's ethical. They're good at what they do. They follow through. They communicate. Yes. And we make it look easy and feel easy for a client. And it's all about the client at the end of the day, our buyers and sellers. Correct. And our relationship should be strong and, you know, we should work together always. Well, there's 150,000 so. <laughs> and that's probably more because every day it's like 100 people probably get their license <laughs> just in the city alone. I'm yeah. going to be a realtor. I'm going to be a realtor. Ah, it's so easy. It's something <laughs> like one out of every five. five. Mm -hmm. There's uh, over 18,000 people that are realtors yeah. in Florida, and there's 8,000 alone in Sarasota. I think so it's actually more than, I think it's it close to, to 200,000 now. It has to be. Yes. I, I read And somewhere. I think it's 17,000 in Manatee and Sarasota County. So 17,000 agents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's exploded. Okay. Yes. So I love it. it it's, <sighs> it's not, you know, e even, even office politics can be stressful and whatnot, but I just, you know, I've called Shayla and I said, hey, I'm, I, I just got back from Spain. I said, if I need something, I said, please, I, I, you know, would you help me out? She said, Jamie, I'll go get something for That's you. I'll how get it a signature, be. I'll That's do whatever. Mm -hmm. And you work at Colwell Banker. So I appreciate and that. And we're totally at different companies. And right. it shouldn't matter if you're friends. I mean, I got your back, you got my back. So. And we need each right. other because we can't always be in two places at once. And mm -hmm. it's really nice to have someone who has our voice and our best interest at heart. Right. Truthfully, and 100%. I do trust you too. Yes. I do trust you. So, I really do. So, women leaders in real estate, but I, I want to say why. So, just you know, like for sake of time period, we're going to kind of just, you know, I mean, tell us the story, but kind of keep it a little bit shorter. I want to know both of you. Why did you choose? I, I know your story a little bit, but give me the brief synopsis. Like, why real estate? Why is it that you love this? I got into it right out of college. So, out of college, I was waiting tables for six months. I was like, 
this is not for me. I knew it was <laughs> to fill in, you know? Yeah. And um, so everywhere we went, actually, one of the places that stood out to me was St. Armand Circle, which is technically where my office is mm -hmm. now. And we had a lot of conversations. I was walking with my mom. Everywhere we went, it was real estate. I was like, you know, I just started thinking about it, hearing more about it. And I was like, well, I think I would enjoy it. And I think I would do well at it. And my family is a lot of entrepreneurs. So it's kind of like in the blood. And I sort of saw that growing up. And they always had real estate or rental properties. You know, I mean, it's still, like, it still growing. To you. It, start, it kind of called to you. It just was like, yeah, yeah I think I could do you that. You two have very impressive numbers. Very. Thank you. And I think that's that to me is one of the most important things, too, about choosing you two for this is you guys have numbers that other people have that have teams. And you're doing it alone. Hey, girl. Girlfriend. Yep. Uh-huh. So. Keep it up. <laughs> and I, I, you know, and... and you're still humble about it. That's what's great. You know, a lot of people have are like, well, to. I do this, yeah. and I, I sell this amount, I do that, Do you know why you have to be humble? Because you it changes. You can lose it, it all, changes. It changes right now. Right now, we're in a, than you, too. you know, an unknown time. It's we're a weird time sure right now. what's going to happen. So you stay humble. Right. You stay happy. You stay grateful. And you stay hard working. Keep working hard. Yeah, right? you read my mind. You can never, ever <laughs> stop working right. hard in this business. And that's why we respect each other right. because we have the same moral compasses. Yes. And you know, I've lost it all before too, so I'm it keeps me working and keeps me going and right. hustling and I've learned all that. in sales because I've been in sales my whole life. I've learned in sales like I remember coming out, I remember the very first job I had in sales, I was selling life insurance policies, burial plots, things like that. that oh, sucked. that's fun. <laughs> I was making I mean it was great. I came out of it and I learned it. We we had to learn like a twenty five page presentation word verbatim before we could go out. And I remember coming into it the very first week, my, my commission check was like five grand. And everyone's like, how oh, do you do this? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> Thinking I was invincible. And I'm going to be the best. And I was the best at the company. Everybody wanted to be like me. But I always told people, I said, listen, just be honest. Mm -hmm. Do what is best. Like, like if you do the honest thing, it's the greatest thing. But I, I had people that came in, they passed me up. So the top dog will not always be the top dog. The that's top right. dog will fall. So there's always going to be somebody hungry. And that's one of the for, reasons <laughs> why I <laughs> went to Coa Banker and the specific office that I'm at is because I felt like at the old office, I was sort of becoming like the top fish. Um, and I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be to. there. I didn't want to be there because you don't grow and you, you don't wanted, learn. You wanted somewhere yeah. to, to grow, yeah. to reach someone to teach you. I love yeah. that. That's yeah. great. Yeah. What about you? How did I start in real estate? Just so why, why real estate? The short story is I, I also have a background of being an entrepreneur, and I owned a few different companies here mm -hmm. in Sarasota Ooh. and okay. Philadelphia and New Jersey and L.A. And I had just a couple got my a couple of things going on. No. I, I had, <laughs> no. you know, I had got. Well, let's <laughs> talk about being super secure and big for your britches. Um, I owned a billboard company. So, oh, cool. uh, so what I was doing is using my real estate license to buy and to lease billboard plots of land. Good well, for you. good for me. And then the billboard business crashed. Oh, God. The billboard business crashed with the housing market mm -hmm. in 0809. In 0809, mm -hmm. yes. And and then when it started to recover, it was very digital. Okay. Um, but I stuck with real estate because I really liked it. It's a lot harder. When I sold a billboard and I sold billboard space, it was numbers and it either worked for my client or it didn't. What I didn't anticipate in real estate is all the passion. It's kind of the like emotion. Commercial. All the emotion. Yeah. Billboards is kind of like commercial. Commercial yes. is commercial. very numbers. Very numbers. numbers. Don't lie. And residential is very emotional. And my commission checks were big. Really fabulous. Yes. In, in real residential real estate. And I, yes. Like commercial. Uh, in, in, <laughs> Yeah. in billboards, but I know the two of you understand now, we will have our top luxury clients and those are beautiful commissions. But tell me how satisfying it is to find that first time home buyer. I just, I feel so today. smart. Right? <laughs> and yeah. you yeah. work 10 times as hard for right. that person. Yeah. For and they call and ask you a million questions and, and you're, you're grateful, like, oh, you're so excited. Grateful. To help. So grateful. And yeah. And those are cool. Those are cool. My first house, you know, which it's exciting. 
And they really lean on you and you're just like, you feel like really important in that process because you are, you know? You do. That's kind of how I feel like when I'm giving back. I do. I just feel like, all right, I put in 250 hours (laughs) for this person for, you know, a 300 hour commission check. But there's so much joy in finding someone that first home. Right. Or finding niches where they didn't think they could afford it and you Mm -hmm. help them figure out a way to do it. amazing deal. They're like, oh my gosh, gosh, I love you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's the greatest Uh thing. Uh, it is. Cool. Yeah. So hey. that's my story. So answer me this. So I, I think for me, one of the one of the funny struggles that I get, my necklace is crooked. One of the funny stories <laughs> that I get all the time that I come home and I laugh to myself about is I get a lot of people that have been in the industry a long time. Some of them have been in the industry longer than you two. You two are young, but you've been in the industry a long time. I get, you know, the the the, the more seasoned women. And they'll be very snippy to you oh, about yeah. certain things. And it's and I had to have a conversation with somebody. I said, listen, I said, I believe that the ethics were the same 100 years ago mm-hmm. when you got your license as mm-hmm. they are today. Yeah. And I, I just, I think that's important for me. It's a learning lesson, not only to say, hey, this was really hard on me when you were nasty to me, you know, and it's like, I'm just, I'm learning too, because I'm still, I'm newer than there. I haven't been doing this since the 70s. I was only born <laughs> in the 70s. 70s, you know, but really there are people <laughs> practicing in the 70s. I was only born in the 70s. Right. But I need to remember, I need to remember that when somebody younger comes up and I'm dealing with them, Have the patience. it teaches me patience because I don't, it is a I don't think you need a reminder though, to Sometimes. not be rude. Well, this is true. I think the both of, I think the three of us it are natural teachers. <laughs> well, we can be frustrated. Yeah. Where my frustration comes in is when the agent isn't trained or too big for their britches and they don't follow protocol. They don't follow the contract and it harms my client. Or they're not exactly. nice, probably yes. what you're saying. That's the only yes. time I get passionate is when they're, they're, they're not kind during negotiations or they're asking for things that are outside the contract. And the, those are the yeah. times it's frustrating. Right. Yeah. But I think you will always be a kind teacher and a mm-hmm. kind leader. Thank you. I try to be. Aww. So, yeah, uh, yeah pr- professional, professional, you know, <laughs> professional behind the doors has to be different than personal life. Obviously, sometimes yeah. you know, it, it's when we go home, our patience level is obviously a little bit less. You know, our families see it. You know, it's it's hard for dating. It's very hard for dating. It's very oh. hard for families. You know, Easter weekend, this is going to tell when the video was made, Easter weekend's coming up. And I told my son, I said, I have a showing that I have to do, you know, it's on my own personal home, but that that's still a business and it's still a chance for me to make clients and do stuff and I have to do that. So who's worked on Christmas Eve? Right. Like I who's, mean, who's we, answered calls on yeah, Christmas Day? Yeah. Do 10 you, o'clock at night. Are you available? I'm and like, you're sure. right. You do. <laughs> yeah. If you have a partner that you share your life with, including be. your children, they do have to be understanding. Right. Um, Everybody's got a life and it's mm-hmm. easy to blur the boundaries yeah. in this business. So and how funny is it when someone says, <laughs> it's so great you're a realtor, you get to make your own schedule. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> right. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Right. What? Yeah. <laughs> and it is. It's, it's extremely rewarding, but I think that that's the thing. You know, there's a lot of comments out there. I'll see tweets, you know, on Twitter and whatnot. And it says, wow, realtors make a lot more than they're worth. And, and I, uh, I laugh about that because there are times where we do have a slam dunk mm-hmm, and we're like, that was an mm-hmm. easy commission. It was great. Thank you, God, for that. I really appreciate it. Yeah. There's also times where it's like, how many attorneys do I have to talk to on the phone? How many times do I have to call the title company? How many phone calls am I going to have the client yelling and screaming about they're upset because the other side won't they don't see all know, the, give in to the, something? Life is not Instagram, is. okay? Life yeah. is, or, you know, or you, you have put a the buyer. positive on right. your social media. You've worked with for a year. You've right. driven them from here to Venice to Manatee County. You've yeah. taken your weekends, your time away from your kids, the beach, your vacations, and then they rent. Or they buy, or they buy yep. a for sale by owner. People don't realize that we do sometimes Even when you donate get the a lot of our time. Or, you, or you, you get a buyer's agreement, whatever, not a listing agreement, but you get a buyer's agreement, stuff still happens. Mm, sure. Absolutely. And it's, you know, I, I, um, you know I, I've had people call me and they said, hey, you know, we, we had somebody in our area, in our condo association, who uh, is an agent and they wanted to sell our, our condo. And I'm like, and they don't know. It's they don't know. I think so it's educating. They right. don't know how yeah. many hours we're searching and how much training has led us up to be able to assist them. Right. You know what I say in yeah. response to people saying the comment about we make so much money? 
you're not paying me for the hour it took to get you this deal. You're paying for the 20 years of experience to make it look easy. There you go. And make it feel easy awesome. for you. And we try to shield our clients from the back stories 100%. of whatever's going on Very with the agent. We include them with that. You know, but sometimes I, they want to know. They're like, well, what's going on? It's like, there's a lot behind I think the it's. I think it's important for an agent agent like ourselves to shield them of that because right. they're already dealing with a lot of emotion and we don't need to add to it and it's yeah. just part of being a professional that you know there could be a lot of drama at the office with the other agent like I try really hard to not yeah. bring them into it I sometimes I just need to like step away for a minute and just woo saw uh -huh. or whatever or maybe tell them after they've closed after. over a glass of wine maybe I didn't even know maybe. what happened but it, is, it is our job to shield yeah. Yeah. that's what yeah. they're they're hiring us for to negotiate the the contract understand yeah we don't need to bring them every little problem. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. One hundred percent. I think that's my favorite thing to you know to tell the other agent whenever I produce a contract to somebody. When when I when I when I'm giving somebody a contract, is I said, hey, you know, my job is to work with you to make you look good, and vice versa. We have we're on the same team. We're trying to get our clients to the finish line. Let's make this happen. So, it's so nice when that does happen. It's, and it's easy. It's a breath of fresh air. And when you don't have to explain that, when you know, I mean, I do a lot of transactions on Longboat, and a lot of the same agents do that area. Yep. A lot of them are in my office, and so when you put a deal together with one of them, it's like, oh, you know, it's going to be great. And you that's why we it. should support each other. 100%. That exact reason, right there, because we'll probably work together again. Absolutely yeah. well. Absolutely. You know? well. I'm going to be in your yeah. neighborhood yeah. again next Tuesday. <laughs> right. I so. so. Right. <laughs> Well, the other questions that I have in here is just, I mean, I, I talked about integrity and I talk about, you know, the biggest struggle that you guys have. What's the biggest struggle that you guys have? What's the biggest struggle in our industry? It could be anything. Well, you know, it changes for me, to be yes. honest with you. It Sometimes when I'm too busy, it's, it's time. And then sometimes Usually, right now, <laughs> it's not knowing what's coming mm -hmm. in the yeah. next six months. Um, and it's my job to educate my buyers and my sellers on what I think is coming. Right. So we do have to listen and we do have to use our, you know, our own common sense. We can't listen to every radical news mm -hmm. about the market crashing. We have to know our particular area and that it's mm -hmm. relatively recession proof yep. around here. So, yeah. you know, right now, today, that's my challenge is get, right. bringing comfort to my clients. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the answer. It's true. Thanks. Yeah. Everybody seems to think that they're an expert. Grant Cardone's an expert. This person's an expert. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> Suzuki. Uh, Suzuki's an. Everybody's an expert. It's like we don't. We don't know. Everyone has a hypothesis. I think you can pick and choose. I don't know about you, gals, but I listen to a lot of podcasts, and so I mm -hmm. pick and choose. Like <laughs> Grant Cardone, some of the things he says, okay, I like, and it some of it I really do not like. And you kind of use your own mind and pick and choose what you want to, you know, use in your business. But yeah. um, I think to your point, to answer your question the about the, so the biggest struggle in real estate is just the up and down, you know. And even though I've been doing it almost 21 years now, um, it's like y we've always worked 100% on commission. And yeah. I think it takes a certain type of person to rely on that. And just a certain background and certain uh, je ne sais quoi, you know? It quoi. is. Exactly. You it know? Is. Um, that would be it for me. Yeah. So this is a really, like, like you, you guys know me as having a sense of humor. And so, sometimes, sometimes, really? I, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I have to kind of, you know, I, it, it's kind of, so back in the day when I was a sales manager, I, I've just, I feel like I've done everything. I'm like, God, I'm just going to about this new career. I've done a lot of stuff. So when I was, when I was a sales manager, I would tell people, I said, it's kind of like a junkie mentality. It really is. Like you are always looking for the next deal. You're it looking is. for the next deal. And yes. You can't get so low down in the low that you're like, oh, because when, when you're desperate looking for the next deal, it comes it's not across. And it comes across. Exactly. Yes. I can't but you're tell you. Have the high. You're always going to get it. You're always mm -hmm. going to have another sale. You just have because to you know you're going to work hard. I mean, right. I can't tell you. So after the recession, I mean, I lost everything and I couldn't put gas in my car. So and I remember like I was I was needing money so badly and I was like, I can't pressure this client. I want I need this sale to happen so badly and it would fall through. And it's just like depression sets in and you're just like, yeah. but at the end of the day, I couldn't, I, I always had to sleep at night and I always had to do the right thing. Cause so I figured it out. It's sales. Find People way smelled out that on you. Yeah. Right. They do. It's when it's, you don't need right. the business, you get it Can't all. It. Um, yeah. When you need it desperately, people are offended by that. Yeah. So you know. 
Yeah. We were talking so. about the new movie that came out, the uh, the subtle art of not giving a bleep. Oh, oh, I watched <laughs> Just it. Say it. Yeah, no, I, I, was, I would, but we should go together. I watched it yeah. last night. Oh, and it's kind of like that. It's kind of like saying, "Hey, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't." Like it's kind of like my, I, you know, I have a little reminder every day that says, "It is what it is." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever is going to be, it's already predestined. It's going to happen. So if you're going to be magnificent and shine in the industry that you're in, you're going to be. If you're not, you're not going to be. But you put the extra effort and the extra work into it, and it's something that your heart truly wants, which I think we all three you do. have to we want do. it. You, you have to. You're it. gonna have it. Like people are no gonna see of through it. Successful. This I is not a by accident it. business. You no. have to be a realtor on purpose. Right. You have to wake up every day and Actions. reach. Yeah, reach, learn, yeah. grow, communicate, and it's such a relationship right. business. It is not. And I think when it's not for everybody. God, no. when someone's All the selling 20 some, you know, 20 some, 30 million some odd dollars a year on their own without a team, that makes you a superstar. So, we'll and why are you looking at me? She's right I'm, there. I'm looking, I'm looking at both <laughs> you. Like, you know, that's, I mean, I, th I think what we all make can buy, it's great. Like, we're doing that ourselves for us. A team is not feeding us, a team mm -hmm. is not making sales. I'm not putting some you know, somebody else's name mm -hmm. on my sales. It's me doing it. It's you. And there's a lot it. of that that happens. You and know, the MLS. Oh my goodness. Yeah. When and, they and, and, and clients don't understand they that. They don't. You know, they're gonna <laughs> use the big names in town thinking that that one person does all the sales, not realizing it's that- It's a team of 15 or 30. It's 15 not all what they marketing, think it is. <laughs> yes, it's, and it all registers under one person's name, yeah. but you know. I just wanted to highlight- Rise above. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to highlight that for you too, because mm -hmm. I think it's really important. It's it, it's I, I meet you guys and we hit it off well, and I've learned a lot from you too, and I hope I've taught you guys some things. And it's just it's been a great network. I and love it. Yeah, I really respect. I think the best. It's been so great to get the to best know you is both. yet to come. Yeah, absolutely. We have yeah. a lot of fun things. We too. And I was like, stay tuned. We have some amazing <laughs> videos, some great home tours that we're doing. Um, we, we're doing an episode that's out. That that's how we met each other on. Oh and yeah. Very excited. So. It is exciting. Daria, Daria. Thank Daria, Daria. Daria. We always Daria, say Daria, 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 Daria. 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 Well, Whatever, I'll answer. <laughs> I've been called worse. No. I'm thrilled to meet you. Thrilled to meet you. Thanks it's for awesome. having us. So, I love Same. you too. Yeah. Great. All so, right. Girl power. If you guys want to reach out to any of us, you know, I, I always tell people, it, it sounds very familiar with what somebody said that we know. If somebody resonates with you and not the other person, that's fine. Call somebody in this group. We would love to show you a beautiful home anywhere in Southwest Florida. Jamie Zegger with Preferred Shore. Have a great one.